Checo, as he's more commonly known, is arguably one of the best drivers when it comes to getting the most out of the Pirelli tyres. While many drivers struggle to maintain pace as soon as the tyres undergo some serious wear and tear, Checo has on more than one occasion displayed his ability in preserving his tyres and using them to his advantage. It's no secret that good tyre management is crucial to winning a Grand Prix as every driver receives only a limited set of Pirelli's hard, medium and soft tyres to choose from each weekend. Avoiding an additional trip to the pit stop can save a driver about 20 to 30 seconds and can make all the difference on race day. Hence, it's essential that the teams have their tyres and pit stop strategy ready depending on the weather as well as the temperature of the track. So, how has the good tyre strategy helped Perez in his F1 career? Well, let's have a look. In his debut race itself in Australia 2011, Perez opted for a strategy unlike all the other races on track. With most drivers going for a three-stop or two-stop strategy, he was the only driver to make a single stop, a strategy he was going to use for most of the 2011 season. His breakthrough came at the 2012 Malaysian GP where he made the remarkable decision to switch to wet tyres after the first lap itself. Soon, the rest of the grid followed his lead as Perez went on to pull off some powerful moves and chased after Alonso, only changing to slicks at lap 41. This resulted in a second place victory for the driver, demonstrating his brilliance with the right set of tyres. Later in the year, Checo once again had the opportunity to outdo his rivals. Starting 12th on the grid at Monza, he quickly made his way through the midfield with an opposite tyre strategy compared to the other drivers. His stellar drive allowed him to win another second place finish for the Sauber team and earned him the appreciation of three-time world champion and F1 legend Nicky Lauda who took his famous red hat off as a mark of respect. Perez's career best performance, however, was to come at the 2020 Sakir GP, where despite having qualified fifth, he had a disastrous start to his race after Ferrari's Charles Leclerc crashed into him, pushing the Mexican driver to the last position. This was only a minor setback though, as he soon started to pick up pace and began to overtake those in front. By lap 20, Perez had already moved up to the 10th position, continuing to power through the rest of the pack that lay ahead of him. Due to his unfortunate crash at the beginning, he had to change his tyres twice during the race, which later proved to be the right call as a virtual safety car at lap 54 forced many drivers to the pits. Perez, taking advantage of the clear track ahead, swiftly moved to third position. His luck would only get better as a pit stop error by the Mercedes team gave him the lead, which he would keep until the end of the race. And so, Sergio Perez at last had won his first race, becoming the first Mexican driver to have achieved this feat since 1970. All these instances are a testament to the fact that Perez is by far one of the most skilled drivers with the Pirelli tyres. His finest moments have occurred at the expense of other drivers' mistakes, but more importantly, an outcome of his wonderful tyre conservation strategy. Having understood how critical tyre management can be on any given race weekend, it still begs the question of what exactly is Checo's strategy? What gives him the edge that separates him from the rest? Let's take a deeper dive into Perez's strategy. Perez has often been credited with a unique driving style that perfectly suits his strategy of optimum tyre usage. Gabo Weber, former racing driver F1 commentator, described Checo's talent stating, Sergio Perez is a very anticipating driver with nearly classic lines, turning in slightly earlier than those. He's the one who rather breaks early to have the perfect exit. He purposely drives a square line in slow corners but gains back the lost time in the following straight with a better exit. His technique is perfect for limiting tyre wear and it's what allows him to be one of the tyre conserving specialists on the grid. This characterization of Checo's approach perfectly sums up the driver's attitude on track. His careful and calculated moves help him sustain his tyres for much longer than everyone else. Usually setting for a one-stop strategy, his brilliance comes into play with his overcut when those ahead of him choose to make a stop at the pit lane, giving Perez the opportunity to put himself several positions ahead. More often than not, his podium finishes have been the result of a driver mishap or poor strategic decisions from the teams which have allowed him to gain a significant advantage against his rivals at key moments. Racing Point's technical director Andrew Green spoke highly about Perez having said, I think he's absolutely at the peak of his career now. He's not faced by anything. His feedback has always been amazing. His tyre management is, I think he's in the top two or three on the grid. There's not many who can do better. I think there's some who can probably match him. Green also went to add, 
He just has that feeling. He just has that feeling as he goes into the corner or what the tyres are doing, what he needs out of it. His slip control on the throttle coming out of corners is just remarkable. It's like he's got built-in traction control. Checo's strategy has not always worked out in his favour, having missed out on an easy podium due to a failed strategy in Austria 2020, on which he later commented saying, I think looking back we probably should have pitted under the safety car. But of course, now it's easy to know that. At the end, I was struggling with my tyres to hold the people behind on fresher rubber. So that was a bit difficult for me right at the end of the race. Some questionable decisions from the Racing Point team also cost him a third place finish at Imola that year, after an extra pit stop under a late safety car dropped into sixth spot, with team principal Otmar Safnauer later admitting that it was the wrong move, much to the disappointment of Checo, who lamented about giving the podium away to Ricardo. His tyre management, although economical, was never enough to guarantee him the success that he deserved as these tactics were only a part of the equation with various factors affecting the final outcome of the race. Driving an underwhelming car for most of his time in F1 with teams like Sauber, McLaren and Force India, there was only so much Sergio Perez could accomplish. This however is not the case anymore for the Mexican, as he finally got the chance to drive for the Red Bull team in a car that could destroy Mercedes hopes for another championship win. Perez and Red Bull, a deadly combination. Red Bull at last seemed to stand a fighting chance against the Mercedes car, which has been dominating the racing scene since the start of the turbo hybrid era. The team, although struggling with their driver lineup in the previous seasons, are looking to turn things around this time with Perez replacing Alex Albon in the driver's seat. Red Bull's confidence in Sergio's abilities have not been misplaced as he's put on some exceptional performances for the team. Tire supplier Pirelli, ahead of the race in Imola this year, had already pointed out that Perez's one-stop strategy could prove a threat to Lewis Hamilton after qualifying right behind the seven-time world champion. Perez, however, had his time to shine at Baku this year, executing a clever pit stop move that saw him surge ahead of Hamilton and sealed his second ever F1 victory. Another wonderful drive in France by Checo helped teammate Max Verstappen successfully defend against the Mercedes team in a one-stop race that proved to be tricky for several drivers as they grappled with tyre issues. His performance was rewarded with a podium finish only behind Verstappen and Hamilton, maintaining his third spot in the driver's standings. Checo's skills with his tyres are something that Red Bull desperately requires to tackle the threat Hamilton poses with his impeccable strategy and tyre preservation, an area that Sergio Perez is all too familiar with. As both the Red Bull and Mercedes teams inch closer towards the constructors' title, the fight will only get fiercer. With both teams matching the technical abilities of their cars, it may all come down to being a matter of strategy as seen in Spain and France this year. If things go according to plan for Red Bull, this year may very well be the year for either Max or Sergio to claim their maiden driver's championship and turn the tide in Red Bull's favour once again.